government documents obtained by our sister media, the Chinese Epoch Times. In one example, the real number of new cases of infection in Wuhan is over 20 times more than the official numbers. The documents delivered to the Wuhan Health Commission are part of a daily report of nucleic test results that confirm cases of infection of the CCP virus. The report showed for March 14th, last Saturday, among the over 16,000 people examined, 91 tested positive. That was what was unprecedented. The truth is, it was the Chinese regime's cover-up and mismanagement that allowed the virus to spread throughout China and create a global pandemic. To keep this fact clear for our audience, we will now call it the C Party virus. We make a clear difference between the Chinese Communist Party, CCP, and the people of China, who are also victims of the regime and the virus. Under the CCP, doctors were silenced or arrested, reporting delayed, numbers covered up, and journalists expelled. National Security Advisor Robert O'Brien says it probably cost the world two months it could have spent preparing for and preventing the spread. And now as the global cases of infection surge above 200,000, countries with close ties to the Chinese regime are suffering the most losses. Italy was the first and only G7 country to sign the seafood market when the CCP claimed the original cases began. Even so, the CCP is trying hard to make people forget where the virus came from, even throwing out wild charges that the United States is responsible. We use the name CCP virus to hold the Chinese Communist regime accountable and to sound an alarm for those with close ties to China. The only arguments, the central arguments behind doing this with China was, we think capitalism will change them. Okay, they're going to eat Big Macs and drink Coca-Cola and they're going to literally ingest democracy and it will transform them. Okay? They argue that capitalism was going to change China. Now we stand here 23 years later and realize capitalism didn't change China. China changed capitalism. China didn't get rich. They most certainly got rich. And they didn't become a democracy either. Now what you have is what was once a poor Chinese Communist Party. Now you have a rich Chinese Communist Party that has tightened its grip on the country and has actually started going around the world trying to export their authoritarian model. They're literally going out telling countries, democracy cannot solve problems. Our system is so much better at solving problems. We can move quicker, we don't have to have a town hall meeting before we do everything. We can have strategic 20-year plans, and we can solve these problems. This era has to end now. It's not about just taking 